well, well, well. Dave Blunts. Yes, I'm here. What's on your mind right now? Being here. What was the last thing that bothered you? Girl, not texting back, man. Not, not enough time. Not fast enough. You know, because like, what are you really doing to where you can't text me back, you know? What did you text her? I love you. Do you love her? Maybe. So then what's next for you dating wise? I don't know, man. Just gonna, you know, play the field, man. See what's out there. How does Dave Blunts play the field? Uh, how do I play the field? I play it hard, man. I play the field hard. Is there anything else that you want to get off your chest before we start? Before I came out here to LA, I had like a half eating Chick-fil-A sandwich at my mom's house and I'm going to visit her uh, at the end of the summer and I hope that it's still there untouched and uneaten, ready for me to return. It's my album cover. It's the uh, recreation of the uh, movie poster for the Wedding Crashers movie. Uh, the theme behind the album is Wedding Crashers. You know, the last album was about me finding out that Madison is getting married to Julian. So this album, you know, I got to stop that wedding from happening. That's why we recreated that. Um, hey, what can I say, man? You know, it was a good day. I remember that day fondly. Um, that was my first time, uh, it was like 16. It was our first time like trying to roll backwoods and we didn't know how to do it. You have to like unravel a backwood, kind of like, like a, like a scroll. Um, we didn't know that we were splitting like a swisher. So my friend started sucking on the backwood to, I don't know why he did that. I looked over and I'm like, why are you deep throwing that backwood? And he's like, bro, I gotta get it wet. So, yeah. <laughs> oh man, how'd you find that, bro? How'd you find that? <laughs> um, hey man, you know, I didn't know that, that you're on some Narbar shit right here. I didn't know anybody would ever find that. I can't explain it, man. It's me smoking a roach out of a potato. You know, I used to just get high and do dumb shit. My inhalers, man, I always keep an inhaler on me. Um, yeah, man, I can actually explain. So the bottom ones, those are preventative inhalers. I take those like twice a day, two puffs. Those aren't rescue inhalers. The blue ones, those are the rescue inhalers. Those are the ones like if I can't breathe or something, you know, and then the yellow ones are also rescue inhalers as well. At the top, it's just us, nigga. Yo, thank you for showing love, bro. So happy you popped out. That's by Ian. Um, yeah, hell yeah, I fuck with Ian. At the top, it's just us, a little Dirk lyrics. But this bitch really tried to say that I don't get money and she work at Taco Bell. And she sells pussy. You selling two different type of tacos. I mean, shit, it's kind of self-explanatory right there, man. I know more explanation needs to go into that. How was her taco? Okay. It was okay. I don't even know you got that. Um, <laughs> uh, damn, man, you really got some Narwhal shit. Uh, that was when I was in the hospital back in August. Um, I think I, I either posted that, but I, I took that picture because I was trying to send it to a girl to get some sympathy nudes. Uh, yeah, man, that's when I was in the hospital as well. Another sympathy nude picture. I had my grandma take that one for me. She came to visit me and I was like, this is, I need to get these pictures from a different angle to really capture the essence to get more sympathy nudes. Did you get the sympathy nudes? Yes and no, because I tried to get it from multiple girls. So out of the 10, I think I got four. Send a message to the four girls who sent you sympathy nudes. Right now? Yes. Uh, I no longer have contact with them, man. They've all blocked me. G-Eazy. 
Hey, if he ever said he fucked your bitch, just know he meant it. I was doing my on the radar performance and g Easy walked up the stairs and I'm like, oh shit, that is g Easy. No fucking way. And I was in the part of my song, I was like, got Jewish money, nigga, fuck Hitler. And he was like, oh, hell yeah. He stood up, he gave me a standing ovation and shit. He's like, hell yeah, I fuck with that shit. And then, you know, we dapped it up and we took a picture afterwards. Cool guy. Uh, yeah, that's at my friend Matt's crib. Um, I, as you can see, my friend has a giant uh, backwood leaf on his head. I'm not really too sure what else is going on in that picture. As you can see, I'm wearing some fucking sketchers in that photo. Not my proudest moment, but <laughs> that one whose house I'm at, his name is Fat Matt, and we just hang out and do fat shit. But he would always do more fat shit than me. Like Burger King used to have the chicken nuggets and they would be like a dollar for like 30 of them. And he would always go too far. You know, I'd get two orders. That's 60 nuggets. This motherfucker would get like 120. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just got too much. Like, he just did too much, bro. <laughs> That's some real fat shit, for real. <laughs> what? Nah, 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 nah. How did you, no, no. How did you find this? How did you find this, bro? Pandevil? No. Nah, bro. What is y'all on, bro? Pandevil. Bro, they found Pandevil, bro. No way. Pandevil. Hey, man. <clears throat> All right, let me break this down seriously. Now, now, Fortnite Bed Wars is something that I really take seriously. It's not a regular game of Fortnite. No, this is Bed Wars, man. And they took away that Pandevil map, and I miss it. It'll never come back. It's broken. I don't know what happens to it. What happened to it? I don't know how you found that, but if you can find Pandevil then you can fix it. So I'm gonna need you to fix that map and bring it back. I really felt this. Yeah, man, so a crazy story about when he commented on my photo. Um, I woke my mom up. I'm like, mom, little Yachty commented on my shit. And it was like 3 a.m. She was like, who the fuck is little Yachty? I'm like, bitch, go back to sleep before you anger me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, little Yachty, he's cool. You know, we've spoken over the phone a few times, we've talked. He's a cool guy, man. I fuck with Lil Yachty. It's a nigga that made Minnesota. I decided to hunt down and kill the nigga who molested me, but first I must train. I mean, shit, bro. It, it, it explains itself, man. It explains itself, bro, really. I'm lifting uh, some weights. I was in my friend's basement lifting weights, and I didn't know that that picture was being taken of me. As you can see, I was clearly in the midst of training to hunt down to kill a dude that molested me. Are you still training? No, he's dead. Niggas really listen to Dave Blunt's Who? The New Rod Wave, Happy Mario Judah. Um, do niggas really listen to Dave Blunt's? I don't know. It's too early to say, but um, I'd like to think so. I miss my mom, but I left to make a way for us. I actually thought I posted that on my close friends, but uh, I didn't, and that was on my public story. So yeah, man, shit, bro. I miss my mom, man. You know, I, I see. I first time I lived on my own is moving out here. I'm 23, so 23 years every day I've seen my mom. So not seeing her has been hard, you know. But she'll be all right. I mean, shit, she'll find a way to buy her own Newport cigarettes and shit, bro. You know, how black people be in their Newports, man. That is a bunch of white people a stock photo of white people at a call center. I used to work at a call center. That shit fucking sucked. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, um, hi, how can I help you? Oh, you don't have enough money to pay for your prescription? Fuck off. Listening to unreleased Dave Blunts. Yeah, man, you know, I was talking to Lil Yachty on the phone and he told me to send him some unreleased shit and, uh, yeah, that's fire. Hell yeah. What else do you and Yachty talk about? Uh, you know, he just gave giving me advice about the industry and about, you know, the music business and, you know, shit like that. What's the best thing you've learned from him so far? Um, he tell me he told me to get a trainer.
Okay, yeah, you got the Teletubby shirt on, and then I got that on the hell yeah. Mosh Pit, shout out Mosh Pit, turned me into a Teletubby. Hell yeah, man, talking to the sun. Why Teletubbies? I think it kind of fit the aesthetic of the song. You know, it made sense. Uh, logistically, made sense. For this segment, we're going to be writing. Mm -hmm. Write down three unknown facts about yourself. Is there a time limit? No. Okay. Take your time. Because I, I, I'm not too good with reading and writing, so this might take me a minute. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> You're all done? Yes, sir. The first one, and these are things that uh, nobody knows about me, correct? Okay. I once ate an entire box of Fiber One brownies and didn't stop shitting for three days. Fiber One brownies, they're pretty good. Uh, it was my first time trying one. I was like like 10 years old. I ate one and I'm like, shit, this shit's good. There's only like six in the box. So yeah, I ate them shits and... My mom was like, yo, why the fuck did you eat all those? Those are like to help you like poop. And I'm like, damn, well, that's something you tell me before I eat the entire box. Um, so, yeah, man, it, I just kept going to the bathroom. I mean, even when I thought it was over, I just had to keep going. And that shit lasted for like three days. Still to this day, if like I can't even look at a box of five and one brownies or it makes me have to go to the bathroom. Honestly, talking about that shit makes me want to go to the bathroom right now. Uh, number two, uh, I've never paid for pussy. Uh, I pride myself in that. You know, a lot of my friends have done that. Um, a lot of people do that. I've never done it. You know, obviously Abigail was selling it, but I felt special because I was getting the pussy that other niggas was paying for. I was getting it for free. So, yeah. And then number three is I've almost paid for pussy. Yeah, like I, I, I came this close, this close. I'm like, damn, you know, she was, she was willing. It wasn't Abigail, it was somebody else. She was willing, she was selling. It was almost all set to go. And then at the last moment, I was like, ah, I can't do this, I can't. I can't, you know, I just, I, I feel like the reason why I don't pay for pussy is I feel like I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, damn, like, is this really like $70 worth of pussy, you know? Like my biggest fear is to pay $70 for pussy and it was only like $40 pussy, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, what's with the, the $30 upcharge, you know what I'm saying? For this segment, I want you to write down three things you're proud of about yourself. Okay, all right, I can do that. Once again, it might take me a little bit. I'm not the best with reading and writing, but uh, I'll see what I can do, man. All right, number one. Read to me what you wrote. Uh, number one is I, I have never gotten my GED or graduated. Uh, I'm proud of myself for doing that because my mom used to get on my fucking ass about that shit, bro. That shit would annoy the fuck out of me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit right there would really get on my nerves, bro. Like, dead ass every day. When are you going to get your fucking GED? You know, why didn't you graduate? And all that shit. It's like, you know, I always knew that I didn't, I'm, I don't need my GED to do what I want to do in my life. So I'm glad that, you know, music is going crazy right now. So I proved to her that I was right and I didn't need my GED to do what I want to do in my life. And she should have just stayed off my fucking ass. Um, so yeah. Number two, uh, I don't have a license. I'm proud of that because even though I don't got a license, I still got motion. You know what I'm saying? I got motion without the license. You feel me? So yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah. And then number three uh, is I've never paid for pussy. I'm proud about that. Like, really proud about that. All this shit on the list, you know what I'm saying? Even if I was to buy my mom a house, I would still be more proud that I have never paid for pussy. For this segment, I want you to write a letter to yourself, starting with Dear Dave Blunt. Okay. <clears throat> You're done? Yes, sir. All right, read to me what you wrote. Okay. 
Dear Dave Bunce, you did it. You made it out to LA. Your songs are going crazy and your mom is proud. And all it took was for that bitch Abigail to do what she always does, dicks. Anyways, good job on never paying for pussy and for beating Madison at her own game. For this segment, we're gonna be drawing. Draw whatever you want. Okay, draw whatever I want. All right. Hmm. Trying to think about which color I want to choose. Okay. Well, hey, man, you know, I like how it's a blank piece of paper uh, because I'm not too good at coloring in on the lines. So I like that there's no lines for me to follow, you know? Thank you for that. <clears throat> All right. Um, this is a picture of me and Jesse Jones, and we're employees at Mary's on Second. Uh, Mary's on Second is a is a bar a, in my hometown. It's like a bar slash club. Um, and you know, I I made it. You know, I made us. You know, he's got the. You know, I'm purple. You know, to represent purple stuff. You know, that's my whole thing. And then Jesse's is pink um, to represent him and uh, his community. So, uh, yeah, we're working at Mary's on second. Is that jello? Looks like jello. Okay. All right. You're going to put all those in there. Okay. Hell yeah. Type shit. Oh shit, that shit is sour. Damn, man. I don't know if we should, it's a good idea, man. I'm already pre-diabetic. Now I don't have diabetes yet, but I'm, I'm like there almost. This shit might actually give me diabetes. I seen this thing on Twitter where girls are going crazy about a dude who can like eat the applesauce thing without like a spoon. So, hey man, this shit might, Get the ladies going crazy. I mean, this shit without a spoon, man. I can't get the excess. That shit sizzling. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh shit, it's chunky. <laughs> Not bad. So I'm gonna take the thing off here. That, damn bro, I got asthma bro, shit, all right. <clears throat> Put that on there. Hell yeah. Wake up 3 a.m. and I'm thinking about Madison. She tell me she got a new nigga and his name is Julian. Give a fuck about her new nigga. I'm just trying to get my check bigger. Take that piece. <sighs> Hell yeah, pour some of that purple stuff on it. <clears throat> 